Thank you for watching the video. Before I start, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been enjoying the Little Book of Daily Guidance or messages from the Little Book of Daily Guidance because I've been posting them quite a lot on Facebook and obviously if you subscribe to my newsletter you receive a message every day at the moment and I've been sharing them on Pinterest and various other places and thank you so much for all your lovely responses and for letting me know that they make a difference to you and um, it just it really means a lot to know how they impact you and you know how you respond to them on a daily basis um, I'm also obviously grateful to people who've bought the book and who have commented on it or who have shared it or who have written a review that's really really lovely and um, I really just wanted to uh, say I, I want to try something else I don't know whether I'll continue with this but I'm going to try for a while to do a weekly video in which I'll explore messages or a message from the book as a reading and a, an opportunity to to meditate on something possibly um, and as a growth tool really as, a, as a, a way for us to to receive the messages in the way that they were given and use them as a way to to keep evolving and to keep ascending so I would like to do that and so I'm not going to be doing the daily written messages for a while I'm just going to try this and see how it works so please let me know give me your feedback and um, and hopefully I'll continue to do that I'm going to do a combination of messages from the little book and angel cards or color cards whatever feels right in that particular week and um, hopefully just throw it all into the pot to come up with a really nice kind of um, magical message. We'll see how it goes. So um, yes, for people who watch on YouTube, um, the last time I think I made a video I said I wasn't going to do a regular uh, video posting. I had meant to do more than I've been doing recently but other things took over. Um, I, I think I said that I was going to do some recording of meditations and some music and that's all still ongoing but just as soon practically as I said that I was kind of... Um, it was impressed upon me that it might be wiser to complete some writing that I've been doing over the years. So I've revised most of my books and I've added the little book of daily guidance obviously. So I've got, I, I actually put six books out last year. I think I re revised um, four novels and uh, and Letters to Light Workers is still the same and I also did, um, well it's had you know a few changes here and there but nothing substantial and the Little Book of Daily Guidance has also been added. So there are six books out there now, there are links under the video and for now I'm going to just try to put my focus back on doing readings, I'm still doing readings anyway, and teaching and healing and I'm going to get around to doing some more meditations that are free on the channel and to record the um, the CD that I said I was going to record. All in good time. It's just uh, there are a lot of things going on. There are other musical projects that I've been uh, trying to fit in and, you know, other um, spiritual projects. And there's more. There's three more books that I would like to put out this year. Um, we'll see how it all goes. But for now, thank you for coming back and welcome back. And so for the week of the 21st of March I'm going to do a reading and um, give an overview for what we could be working up on and what we need to look out for. Um, also obviously it's a very general reading if you would like a personal one-to-one -one reading just click on the link below and go to my website channelinglove.net and um, I will uh, yeah, get that organised. So just going to Tune in and see what I receive. I've got the mess. I've got two. I've got forty-one and one, two, three. So um, let's see what forty-one says first. Joyful purpose. Okay. Everything you offer to the world with joy and love has joy and love embedded within it. If you are confused about your life purpose or path, take time to explore your own tastes, desires, and feelings and rediscover what makes you feel good. Allow these pleasant and fun activities to open your heart and then bring that joy back out into the world. Do what you love. So, okay, I just want to talk about that a little bit. If there is, we've had a lot of time recently and a lot of astrological alignments and a lot of great energies that have been encouraging us to really explore who we are, who we really are, what we really want to be doing, what we really want to be offering to the world. 
This week, from the 21st onwards, is going to be a really important week to get back in touch with what makes us come alive most, what makes us feel most inspired from a place of joy and happiness, and what really, really just brings us, you know, lights us up from the inside so that we can bring that light into the world. Even if you are on a path of service, if you've become tired or if you've become in, you know, entrenched in a routine, so things feel very sort of work a day and almost as dull as a day job, you know, a regular job. If any of those things are happening or you feel blocked or uninspired or uncertain about where to go next, go back to something that really makes you feel happy. Bring some element of the things that make you feel joyful about your work back into your work. Try to recapture that original excitement that you felt about spiritual work or about your creative work or about uh, whatever it is that you're doing and find time to explore it. It doesn't mean that you just ditch your day job at a moment's notice. Be practical, be grounded, stay, you know, stay focused on the overall objective but find that joy again and don't berate yourself if you think that what you do isn't um, in service or isn't uh, you know giving anything to humanity. Every joyful heart on the planet is now giving something to humanity because that joy, that loving vibration goes back into the all and comes back and feeds us all with that intention to move closer to joy, closer to light as a collective. So it's time to reevaluate that. If there's any sort of stodginess or uncertainty about what you're doing, or if it's become dull in any way, come back to the joy of it. Find what brings you back to life and what makes you feel happy. The world needs more happy people spreading their joy and light. Okay. So the other message was one, two, three. So let's see what how that clarifies or what that how what can help us to get back to that place of joy. One, two, three is ancestors. And it says, a day to give thanks for people and things that came before. I know they say a day because they're daily guidance messages, but just relate this to the whole week. So whatever your heritage, today is a good day to give thanks for the sacred paths walked by your ancestors in their determination to bring you to this time, to this place and time. So it's going to be a good week to reconnect with where we've been, where we've come from, who we are in our essence and what might be some of the gifts that come through that lineage. You know, what did you have psychic parents? Did you have uh, people in your, a lot of people in your family who were teachers or um, have you come from a long line of dancers or musicians or artists? It's just a really important time to look back and say, okay, there's something in my genetic heritage or in my ancestry that leaves a clue that tells me who I really am or what really makes me happy. So, you know, you, know you, might have been, uh, you might come from a long line of philosophers or, or very, very deeply spiritual or poetic souls and there might just be a clue there that helps you to remember what brings you joy. The message goes on to say, give thanks for the person you have become because of the people they were. Give thanks and blessings of gratitude to all our ancestors and feel their unfailing strength. So it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, if you come from a family of tailors, you should join the family of business. It just means that there might be a clue there um, in the struggles that your ancestors have, have overcome or the particular way that they've chosen to express themselves that really just shows you back to your own way of possibly finding joy and celebration. Give thanks for the many lifetimes that have allowed you to be who and where you are now. So you might even be connecting again with your previous lifetimes, with who you've been before, what you've come to heal in this lifetime because of who you were before. What's that joyful thing that you've left behind? What does your soul and your higher self say about what your highest and happiest calling is? Not just your highest, but your happiest high calling is in this lifetime. What do you need to express? What must you express in order to be happy? Find that pure spark again and make sure that you give, give that some time this week. Everything that came before has wisdom and strength to offer you. Open your heart to the wisdom of all that came before. So I'm going to also pick a card from the secret language of colour because everything that happens at the moment, because we're becoming so sensitive, 
is impacting our energy field. And so if there's something that we need to find within ourselves, you can bet that somewhere in your energy field there is all, all, already, <laughs> already a resonance. And if you're feeling blocked or unsure about what it is that makes you happy, that is often an indication that you are receiving external influence that is not coming from a pure place within you. So we need to constantly be checking our energy field and making sure that we're clear, making sure that we're connected with source and making sure that we are in contact with our own colours and vibration and frequency. And the way to do that is to constantly be reminding ourselves that we are walking through an energetic universe. We are walking through a universe of colour, of light, of sound, of vibration. And when we respect that, we become more able to notice those vibrational changes going on within ourselves. So we can notice much more when we feel happy, when we feel joyful, and when we feel a kind of heaviness coming around. So if the message for this week is to notice what makes you happy and to get clues from our ancestry about what make us, might make us happy or clues from our previous lifetimes and from our genetic memory if we don't have a conscious awareness of, past, of those past lives. If that's our overall objective for this week, let's see what the card is that's on top that will help us, what will help us in our desire to find the joyful purpose. Have fun with your inner child. <laughs> you couldn't make this stuff up. So have fun with your inner child this week and it's really going to be a week to play, to explore. I feel I'm hearing there's another card on top that's going to help. So look towards that, um, that frequency that's very light, that's very playful. There's an innocence about it. We've got these corally kind of red, orangey colours. So that's very much, it's, it's not about being analytical. It's about just the pure kind of primal creative urge and, and that sense of childlike exploration of, okay, I really love painting or I really love singing or I really love um, playing the piano or I really love dancing. I'm going to just do that and see whether there's something in there that brings me back to life and that allows me to find a higher and more inspired and exciting purpose to bring to the world. Remember your purpose can be many things all at once. There's no need to narrow it down. If it still feels like fun then you're, and, and lightness, then you're bringing fun and lightness into the world as well. And we need that. Okay, so the second card that I'm going to pick from the top um, is strengthen your faith. Okay, so very important to go back to a place where you believe that what you most desire and that what makes you most happy is possible. And I'm going to leave it there because I feel that that is a message that's going to resonate and resonate and reverberate out into the consciousness. This is a week to look for your joyful purpose and to have faith that what you really, really want and that really brings you joy is possible. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.